I found Ed's and Barty's crypto wallets, and it confirms the crypto program is a Ponzi scheme. Now, I know that most of you probably don't care if you're already invested in crypto program. You probably already knew that it was a Ponzi scheme. But this is for new people who are thinking about possibly investing in the crypto program. I found Ed's crypto wallets, and it's actually pretty unbelievable. First, though, I do want to share the cease and desist that they just got on May 11th from BC in Canada with you. I promise I'll be quick and not too boring about it. Let's just get through it so that you can understand that it is actually a scam. So this is a cease and desist order from BC Securities Commission in Canada, which is British Columbia in Canada. And it was issued to CryptoProgram.me and Edward Anthony Zimbardi, which is funny because Ed told me that, uh, who would they issue a cease and desist order to? He said, who would they come after? Who would they arrest for this? Because it's all anonymous. What's next? Did they uh, shut well, it down? Eventually, there's going to be cease and desist. They're going to be issuing okay. in other countries. Uh, okay. But here's what's going to who happen. Are they, who are they sending a cease and desist to? Is your argument key here is anonymous. You're saying like they're, they're anonymous. These people are anonymous, so they can't send it to them. They're sending it to whoever is operating crypto program, the company. And, okay. And who is that? So basically, again, your argument is they're anonymous, so they can't do it. But what will happen? No, is, I'm not saying that. I'm just asking, who are they sending it to? Crypto program, whoever operates that. And who is that? This is your argument for everything. You say there are anonymous people in the background. I don't know who they are because you won't tell anyone, Ed. Right. So who are they going to send it to? Documentation beats conversation. Who are they? They don't exist. Yeah, that, that's exactly. So then who are they sending this document to? Of well, cease and if, desist. I, if I was a betting man, Ed, and I used mm-hmm. to be a professional poker player, if I was a betting man, if this does come down to litigation and it comes down to uh, putting people in jail and those kind of things, mm-hmm. I think that I'm talking to the person that they'll be talking to. Okay, that remains to be seen. Well, clearly he is the owner. I'll actually prove that to you in a minute uh, with the wallets. But in this case, they are going after Ed which is obvious that Ed owns it. Uh, And all it is is a cease trade order, cease and desist. Uh, In other words, they just call it a cease trade order. They are not a reporting issuer. Basically, they didn't register their security. What this is is a security offering. They didn't register it, and now they're getting a cease and desist order. And the only way that this will go away is if they file the required filings for the distribution of securities, and then the executive director approves it. And that's not going to happen because there is no external ROI being generated for crypto program. I'll get into that more in a minute. Well, I think most of us already knew that that was coming anyways. One more thing, though, before we get into Ed's crypto wallets is his response to being investigated. This is a post that Ed Zimbardi made in a group that he runs called Passive Income Opportunities. And this is because Chris Thompson from the BC Securities Commission was reaching out to him and the members of crypto program doing an investigation to figure out why Ed is selling an unregistered illegal security. So I'm going to read this really fast. We're going to go through it together. And then what's what I'm going to do is that, that I'm going to share my thoughts on it because what's happening here is Ed is... Ed's not dumb. Ed understands securities laws because he's breaking them and he knows that he can go to jail for a long time. So what he's trying to do is manipulate everyone else that doesn't understand them. And I'm going to share to you why and how he's doing that. So here what it says is that this person, Chris Thompson, from the BC Securities Commission, is contacting as many members of the program as he can. At least a dozen people have reached out saying he's contacting them as well as asking questions. It is up to your discretion to respond to him or call him or even answer any questions. If someone to ask me if they could talk with him, I can't give any advice. What I can say is I won't be talking with him. I listened to a recording recently from a member who did speak with him, and he's on a fishing expedition. He can't understand how 25% can be paid out and knows nothing about how ad ad media buying works. This is very important. This is the part we're going to talk about. Feel free to share this information with your teams. What also don't understand is how anybody in crypto program would get on the phone with him. How stupid is that? Uh, They will use everything against you if uh, they put pressure on you. I'll get into that too. Uh, oh, and by the way, he's probably inside the group under a fake name. Yeah, he probably is. There are probably lots of regulators and investigators inside the group because uh, Ed Zimbardi in crypto program are breaking securities laws, and it's very legal, and he can spend 10 years plus in prison 
for what he's doing, money laundering and uh, securities fraud. So, okay, the part that I really want to talk about first actually is that it is trying to manipulate you here into saying, saying, I can't give you advice, but everything else that he is trying to suggest is that you shouldn't talk to the regulators or the investigators. And I think that if you're in crypto program, you probably should. And the reason is because this is eventually going to collapse and he's going to run off. It's going to run off with your money like he has in all of his other past programs. So you should talk to the regulators. You should talk to the investigators because think of it like hedging your bets. Um, you can just say, I didn't know that this was illegal and that it is scamming me. And that now if this, well, I should say when this collapses and Ed runs off with your money, then what will happen is that you'll have at least a tiny percent chance of getting some of your money back, right? So I would talk to them. Um, here, where he says that Chris Thompson from the BC Securities Commission can't understand how 25% can be generated. Well, there's a really big problem with that. That's the purpose of securities laws. The purpose of registering the investment is to prove where the income is coming from. This way, no one has to believe or have faith or any of that. You don't have to trust Ed Zimbardi if he actually registered it with the correct financial regulators, the SEC, BC Securities Commission. Uh, wherever the security is being sold, it has to be registered. It's, that's very clear. You can watch some other videos or wherever that, but he is breaking securities laws. So you don't have to believe it or have faith if it's registered. The problem is it's not registered. If it, if it was actually generating the money through advertising campaigns, the way that Ed says, all they'd have to do is actually just register the investment and provide proof of income. It's actually fairly simple to do, and it's not actually that expensive to do. Ed's currently raised, well, a lot of the money's actually his, but uh, it says $63 million in the crypto wallets that are public-facing at least, $63 million. With that amount of money that uh, crypto programs generated, it probably would have cost them about $15,000 to register in Canada and the U.S. That's it. So if it only costs that amount of money, then why is he not doing it? All you have to do is pay a lawyer that specializes in this, a few thousand dollars, and they will go register for you. And you only have to pay in the U.S. It's $110 per million. That's roughly what it is. Per $1 million raised, you got to pay about... $110. So it's actually cheap. Like, why wouldn't he do it? it? The only reason is because he's not actually generating the money. So whenever Ed here says he can't understand that, that the regulator can't understand how 25% can be paid out. No, the regulator is not saying, I don't understand how it can't be paid out. What he's saying is, show me the proof that it's paying out because you're operating illegally in the entire purpose of securities laws. I know it's boring. But the entire purpose is to protect investors. It's to prove that the money is actually being generated, which a lot of people that are invested in crypto program probably don't care because most of them know that it's a Ponzi scheme. But if you're one of the people who does care, this is very important. It needs to be registered and it's for investor protection. It's just, it's not even for them to protect. It's for you to understand how the income is generated is for you to be able to look at proof and know what you're getting yourself into right now the only thing that there is is ed zimbardi's claims that's literally it that's the only reason anyone would invest in crypto programs claims he's claiming that 25 percent is generated securities laws force you to prove that you're generating 25 or more than 25 percent enough to pay out 25 percent so i know that ed zimbardi is not generating that money i've proven that or will prove that in this video it is in your best interest for it to be registered with the SEC. It's in your best interest to talk to the regulators and investigators because it's a party is trying to steal your money. And sure, maybe you got a little bit back by now, but uh, it's not going to end well. This is not going to end well for anyone. 90% of people invested in this will lose money. That's the math of Ponzi schemes. So make sure that you talk to Chris Thompson from BC Securities Mission. Hedge your bets. You have nothing to lose, nothing to lose at all. They're not going to arrest you unless you're out promoting it in one of the biggest promoters in crypto program like Scott Morrison. That guy probably will get arrested by the time this is all over. Ed Zimbardi will get arrested by the time this is all over. I'm calling it now. 
Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's uh, look at the wallets. So the moment of the truth here, what we're about to do is expose Ed's wallets. And I know these are Ed's wallets. I can't say much more than that. In the future after Ed's arrested, and yes, I said after Ed is arrested, I will link that here. And I know all of you haters that say like I'm making things up, uh, you're gonna come at me right now. But guaranteed in the future, I will post proof that I know about all of this stuff. But here's something that anyone can do, and that's why I'm sharing it. This is more public information that people can find. I have hundreds of people that have been messaging me about Ed or other scams too. By the way, you can message me too anonymously. Find the link on my About Us page. You can message me any information you want. Okay, so what we have here is the Dune graph, and this is tracking the crypto program wallet. This is crypto program's wallet. You can click on that wallet and it will take you to Etherscan and that will show you all of the deposits and withdrawals, right? Okay, so uh, Ed and I did an interview, I think it was sometime around here, around the peak of this. It started going down and I started calling the rug pull. I started, I, I put a video up, I'll link that above too. I put a video saying crypto program is gonna rug pull. The reason why it hasn't rug pulled yet, the reason why they're still able to pay people out is because Ed Zimbardi is depositing his own money back into the program. And the reason Ed Zimbardi is doing that, it has to make sense mathematically. I know that it has to. I haven't figured this out yet, but he knows he's going to get his money back or he wouldn't be doing that. But I think he wants to spite the haters. He wants to be like, oh, see, it existed and it lasted for a long time. I think that's one thing. And the other thing is that he's already stolen like $50 million. So there's no, from his past scams. So there's no real reason for him to just pull the rug because what he's doing is he's putting his own money back in to keep it afloat. And he knows that he's gonna at least break even on putting his money back in. As soon as he knows that he's past the break even point of putting his money back in, he won't do it. So it's probably good news for you uh, Ponzi players. If Ed, if you see that Ed makes a deposit, you should know that you might be safe enough to deposit too, but he could just disable withdrawals for everyone but himself. So keep that in mind. Okay, so what I saw, the downswing here, and then Ed started depositing his own money. So this spike here, I was suspicious. And this spike here yesterday, I'm extra suspicious. Why is that happening? Why is there $970,000. The Dow King, which is involved with Lou from Truth Seekers, they seem like they're up to no good. Dow King made a video about this and said, oh, Ponzi Patrol exposed Ed Zimbardi and then Ed Zimbardi got more deposits. No, Ed Zimbardi did not get more deposits. Ed Zimbardi is depositing his own money. Oh, look at this, Crypto Pro rug pull. Ponzi Patrol did a great coverage. Did it make a difference? No, in fact, you could say that Ed Zimbardi and crypto program are doing better than ever. That's the insanity about this. So we're looking at this. We're looking at 511, May 11th, and we're seeing $968,000 deposits. So what I did is I clicked on the wallet here. You can click on this and it opens up Etherscan to the crypto program wallet. Oh, look, $110,000 deposit. So we just, we just click on that. I actually haven't even tagged this one yet, I don't think. Yeah, this is gonna be from ed no doubt about it no doubt in my mind that it's from ed yes okay so i haven't even tagged this wallet yet and this one's from ed here this wallet here i've tagged as ed, ed zimbardi and there is ed zimbardi deposits one hundred thirty-two thousand dollars into this and then money goes out to these other two things uh and i guarantee you if we follow these wallet addresses these wallets also deposit into crypto program. Okay, but here, $110,000 goes out. So I, I know that this is Ed, but you don't know that this is Ed. You're like, how do you know that? Th stick with me. Here, if $132,000 comes in, $110,000 goes out to crypto program, and then another $11,000 goes out to crypto program, uh, we have one wallet right now that I've tagged. I've tagged this just so that it's very clear to everyone, including me, that this is Ed's wallet. Let's go to the next wallet. This is another deposit that I found in a crypto program for $110,000. 
and it came the deposit into this wallet before it went out to crypto program came from this same wallet that I've already tagged. Here's the wallet address you can look at. It. Check it out. Okay, here's an so I've labeled this wallet CP uh, add to CP. Add to CP6. I've labeled this one too. You can check it out. The money comes from one account comes into it and then this is all one day ago. On the same day, the same day I'm talking about, May 11th, money comes in, money goes right back out to crypto program. And we're looking at big deposits, 110,000, 55,000. Okay, same thing, 22,000. A day ago, Ed Zimbardi, from Ed Zimbardi, I labeled it. Uh, I know that it's Ed. You can make your own assumptions based on what I'm saying here. Here. $22,000 in, $22,000 out to crypto program. Okay, here's another one. Uh, let's go here. Uh, $22,000 in, $22,000 out. You guys can verify all this is on the blockchain. So it's all coming from the same wallet. So what he's doing is he's using a secondary wallet instead of his own personal wallet. He's, he's sending money somewhere and then sending it in because he thinks that people are dumb. This is, this is the thing with... Uh, con men narcissists like Ed or Scott Morris, they think that everyone else is dumb. Uh, this is this is the same day. So basically Ed deposited half a million dollars by himself into crypto program just to make it look like there's money being deposited. One day, four hours ago, 110,000. In from this account, Okay, what are we looking at here? Oh, this is uh, this is that account, I believe. Yeah, this is that account. And what I've done here, this is the Ed Zimbardi account that I've just shown, that I've tagged. Uh, I've tagged a lot more things because I'm tracking all of his wallets. I've been tracking this for months now. This is what's interesting. This is how you can prove to yourself that this is Ed and that Ed is the person behind Crypto Program. Uh, this is before the crypto program wallet started. And if you look at these transactions right now, 334 days ago, you can see in 550. What is that? It's crypto program. Here, this is pretty close to 1,100. Uh, you can see that would be two packages. Here's one package. Here's, I don't know. But you see what I'm saying? And then he cashes it out to what I've tagged as a flow through account. But... You can see this is where crypto programs started. The amounts that are coming in are in increments of $550 or very close to it. Um, here, the money goes out to the flow through. Uh, here is an in, here's an in, and then he sends it out to a flow through. Here's another in, and then he sends it out immediately. So this is the beginning of crypto program. Here you can see three three thousand three hundred. That's uh, that's someone buying like six packages, right? Of crypto program. Here's ten packages. So you can see that that's what's happening here, and this is the wallet before the crypto program wallet started, and this is the same wallet that Ed is taking money out of now and sending it back into crypto program. So Ed Zimbardi is absolutely 100% the person behind crypto program. And what we can confirm is if we click through here uh, to the next pages, is that uh, you'll start to see payments going out to what looks like people that have bought in a crypto program early. And I think that uh, actually I know that people that bought in a crypto program early know about this wallet because, well, you know, why am I making this video and how do I know about these wallets? <laughs> so um, if we look through this, what we'll see are outflows that are in the amounts of crypto program payouts. Here's 123. So it should be like 125, but there's a, a fluctuation with USDT at some points, right? Um, and then also like some little fees and stuff. But what you can see here is that, all right, 125, 250. Um, here's, here's some more ins. Here's some more ins. Right, you can start to see this is another in. You can see all this. 
But the out payments are, this is gonna be one of the small payments for like a secondary referral. Um, all, all of this is, it's very clear that this is the first wallet, 125, 125. And I'm calling it 125 again because there are fees and stuff involved in the fluctuation, 250. This is the edge is cashing out. I've labeled wallets and I've tra I have everything tracked. And we're still looking 302 days ago. Okay, but if, if we just like fast forward a little ways to where it's like the beginning of the beginning of crypto program, these transactions stop actually. These transactions all stop. Okay, yeah. So we're getting close. There's still out payments going. These are all crypto program payouts. Uh, this tells us that it's a Ponzi scheme because the money comes in and the money goes right back out from the same wallets. And there, there's no money sent out to anybody that's doing advertising. Like I, my background's in advertising actually. I, for the last nine years, I've been a digital marketer and business consultant and marketing consultant. Uh, I've done paid traffic affiliate marketing. I've spent uh, eight figures. I've spent eight figures on advertising. I know that the returns that he's talking about, I know that they're possible in some campaigns in the short term if you find the right offer. But I also know the most elite uh, people in the world that do paid traffic advertising. And what they do, yeah, they make millions of dollars, but what they do is they find it, they go all in on the campaign, they make their money, and then it quits working. Now you have to find another one. So you're always like testing and it, it doesn't work out the way Ed tries to portray it. If we, so we're at like uh, 260 days, here are all these payments. Then all these payments stop from this wallet. If all these payments stop from this wallet, 259 days, this has been going 274. What actually happened there is that he switched wallets and he was like, oh, I should probably use a different wallet. And now Ed uses this his own wallet. Let's go back to the first page. Ed uses his own wallet to send out money. You can see all these transactions. These are the green ones are the ones that actually went out. These are the ones that I labeled. Ed to CP2, Ed to CP5. You can verify it yourself. Why is this one account circling money around? All he's doing is taking, taking money from his personal account, putting it into CP, getting money out, and then circling it right back. But he started with millions of dollars. So I don't exactly understand the reason why he would be doing this besides the fact to keep it going longer. But make up your own mind. And again, I will post proof in the future after Ed Zimbardi is arrested. Post proof in the future for all you haters because I know you're going to be in the comments saying, oh, you're making stuff up. But if you know anything about blockchain, I'm fairly new to like analyzing it this way. But if you look at it, Tell me what you think. This is Ed Zimbardi. Okay, so Ponzi scheme confirmed. The question is, why is Ed reinvesting this amount of money back into his own Ponzi scheme? I'm sure he's done the math on this and it probably makes sense for him to continue to invest into his own Ponzi scheme. I think that the reason for that is because the Dune graph has been made public. I've shared it here on my channel and it wouldn't look really good if the incoming money was going down, then more people wouldn't invest because I believe that most people already know that it's a Ponzi scheme. Now, some people that already knew it was a Ponzi scheme may be saying, oh, this is great. Ed's just trying to keep this alive and give people their money back since he's already stolen money from the IMGFX scam and the three other PAM accounts that he stole money from people in. But I don't think that that's the case. I think that the only reason he'll be doing this is that it benefits him. If he can keep the doom graph going up and keep paying people out, he knows that people will continue to deposit money and in the long run, he'll actually make more money. I've already made a few other videos about Ed in the past. You can check those out on my channel. I'll link a couple of them here. Those were covering his past scams where he stole $34 million from three different PAM accounts. And also there's a three hour interview. I wouldn't call it an interview. It's more of a debate slash hit piece just exposing Ed and all the scams. So make sure that you check those out. My advice is to stay far, far away from crypto program. If you're like a Ponzi scheme player and you wanna put your money into it, go for it. Just know that Ed's keeping it alive by depositing his own money back into crypto program to keep it alive longer so that more naive people will invest.
I don't get paid anything from this. The only thing I ask is that you like, share, and comment on this video. That way that other people can be aware of scams like Crypto Program and Ed Zimbardi. If you have any anonymous tips that you want to send to me, just shoot me an email and I'll get back to you. And as always, keep patrolling.